KITV4's Eddie Dowd has a look at how this year's marathon was another way one local man took back his life after facing severe setbacks. If you would have asked Gary Ikiloni if he would one day lead the Honolulu Marathon, he would have told you you were crazy. I never thought about doing it when I was able-bodied, and, and I, I never thought I'd do one now either. Garrett is a wounded warrior. In 2016, he had a brain aneurysm while stationed in New Mexico and lost his ability to walk. As someone who loves to surf, the news was crushing. I was in a deep depression. I thought my, my life as it was came to a complete stop. But with the help of friends and family, he says he was able to see it wasn't the end of his active life, but the start of a new one. I didn't think I could do anything. I didn't know that there was adaptive sports like this. And I went and it opened my eyes, it changed my life. And on this Marathon Sunday, that new life was on full display as he took off to complete 26 miles. And three hours later, crossing the finish line. So many times I thought I was going to quit and turn around, but you know, I wanted to represent for the Air Force Wounded Warrior Program and, and for my, my Ohana, my kids, you know, that you never quit. You know, I always give 100% and, you know, a little bit of... A little bit of pain can be worked through. Words we can all live by. Eddie Dowd, KITV4, Island News.